Chase Young is a one-man wrecking crew. Best I've been around and so versatile. In trouble, sacked again by Chase Young. Maybe the best player in America. This is a game that was set up for him to kind of get lost in the running game. He dominated. Hey, Heisman voters, don't leave out the defense. This guy's the most disruptive player in America. Over 100,000 were in attendance to watch Chase Young and Ohio State dominate Wisconsin 38-7 on Saturday. Included in that group, former Buckeye head coach Urban Meyer, who joins us now. Coach Chase Young was simply unstoppable in that game. Four sacks, five tackles for loss, two forced fumbles. At this point, should we be discussing Chase Young as a legitimate candidate to win the Heisman? Oh, absolutely. And, and I think anybody who really studies the game and, and really watches, that was, you know, that was as dominating performance as I've seen, including, you know, Joe Burrow to me is right there as well. Uh, you know, he's actually, the only, the only thing Joe has, first of all, he's played great, plus they've played two top 10 teams. You know, Ohio State, this was their first big challenge, but as far as dominating player on a great team, you know, Chase Young is, is right there. On the other side of the ball, Ohio State's other number two is also dominating. J.K. Dobbins, more than 220 all-purpose yards, two touchdowns against the Badgers. How has J.K. taken his game to a new level this year? Well, he's a featured back and he's healthy. Plus, you know, he's, it's three years in a row he's rushed for 1,000 yards. It's just when you look at his body, and everybody has to remember, in high school, he missed his senior year. So I don't want to see his raw because his first game, I believe he ran for 180 against Indiana as a, a true freshman. But he's gotten better and better and he stayed healthy. He is so strong. His work ethic's impeccable. And he's always been a guy that could carry low, but now he's really carrying it. And uh, he's just a great player. He does it all. You know, there is a big challenge with a, a running back that's not real big on pass protection. He was challenged with that his first year. Uh, second year, got to be very good at it. And this year, he's elite really in all phases, catching, blocking, and obviously carrying the ball. Urban, take us into a coach's mindset when you are the head man of a team that is not only unbeaten, but really untested through the first two months of the season, and you start to look ahead to November. What are you trying to pound in over and over again to your players? We've had a couple of these scenarios. You know, I remember one time at Florida, we had a loss early, and then, I mean, we went on a run. It was 2008 where every game was a three-touchdown uh, at Utah, we were on a team that went undefeated, and the nearest game was three touchdowns, 21 points. And you just, you, as I, I said Saturday on Fox, is you'd like to take this team and put them on a desert island because it, it just starts, the, the more intense, the bigger the stakes, everybody starts showing up. I mean, you're going to see people asking for tickets. You're going to see people showing up talking about agents. Already our players, I know I've talked to a couple of them already, our Ohio State players, where agents are reaching out to them. And it's just non-stop in their families. So as long as they stay focused, as long as they stay healthy, that's what you want. And Ryan, Coach Day, has got to find a way with being smart. These next two games, the talent differential is going to be an extremely, extremely wide gap. Tuesday practice is going to be critical. And that's how do they get good on good, get good reps, because you don't want to roll in those last two games against Penn State in the Wolverines where the talent is fairly equated and not be ready for it. Like Ohio State, the other two unbeatens in the Big Ten, Penn State, Minnesota, have this weekend off before they square off on November 9th in the Twin Cities. Let's start with Penn State. What are the Nittany Lions doing so well this year? We thought it would be a rebuild. Instead, it's been more of a reload. Well, they've always played great defense. You think every year they've been really good on defense. Offensively, I thought they would take a step back and they're the, the ultimate right now, uh, along with Ohio State, as far as speed and space. You know, I've heard, we've heard that from Coach Gaddis, the offense coordinator at the, at the team up north. And they are, they're starting to, by the way, they played exceptional Saturday. But they're, they're getting their athletes in space. And Hamler, my gosh, he's, uh, I knew he was good last year when we faced him. He's, he's as productive player as there is in the Big Ten. On the other side of that matchup, why is Minnesota so much better than they were a year ago with a fairly similar roster? Yeah, I, I just think familiarity with the staff. You know, I think uh, they're, they're a big challenge. They have not had to go in and beat someone. You know, they, they've done a very good job. But this one, when they get ready to go at uh, 
when Penn State comes home, that's going to be their big challenge. They have not, I don't think they've beaten a top 25 team yet. That's all what I look at is, you know, why did Ohio State, I picked them number one uh, in this week's poll because I, they finally did that against a top, top team. When uh, LSU's done it against two top 10 teams, and now same thing with Minnesota, they, the big showcase is going to be when they get that chance against Penn State. Penn State, Iowa, Wisconsin, all still on Minnesota's schedule. You mentioned Michigan and the win against Notre Dame. Not just a win, but the Wolverines blew the Fighting Irish right out of the big house. What jumped out to you from that win by the team up north? Well, I made a comment several weeks ago that people that are out there start blaming the players that they have bad players. That's, that's nonsense. Or good, bad coaches. That's nonsense. There was something wrong, and you saw it against uh, Wisconsin. And I watched it really closely because I know the players they got. I know the coaches they got. They got very good coaches and very good players. Something just wasn't right. Whatever was not right got fixed. And that's a credit to the coaching staff and the leaders on that team. They played the second half of Penn State. That was a great, great game. And you started to see that energy and enthusiasm and toughness that you, they've been known to have. And then I watched real closely against Notre Dame, and that was a thorough A to Z beating and the energy, the effort on defense, the uh, Shea Patterson staying alive, moving his feet, making plays down the field. Looks like Donovan People jones is getting healthy. So that was what we all expected out of them this year. Lastly, Coach, before we let you go, Indiana has never been an easy place to win. Our friend Jerry DiNardo can attest to that. But Tom Allen and the Hoosiers are bowl eligible, and it's not even November yet. How impressive is the job that Allen has done with this program? I've always been impressed by him. You know, we played against him, and really when Kevin Wilson was there, so you're talking to one person that's always had great respect for Indiana. I think that place is hard to play. They Look at the running backs in the NFL that they've had. There's always been good players. They just haven't, you know, they're on the wrong side of the division, too. They're, they're Every day they're waking up in the eastern side of that darn conference, and, you know, you got teams that, you know, if they were on the other side, I think they'd be right in the middle of the conference championship, and I know they are. But uh, uh, I think Indiana, that coach uh, has done a great job. Coach Allen's done a great job. They have very good players. It's really good to see Ramsey come back and throw like he did. Uh, and, and it's going to be, can they go beat a top 25 team? That's what I always go to when you start talking about uh, the Indiana, Minnesota. Very good players, very good team. Go beat the big ones. Urban, as always, we appreciate the time and the insight. We'll chat again soon. Thank you.